if you're doing digital photography or digital art, you're very familiar with many applications that allow you to process photo or draw on your computer. And many of us using different applications pay solutions, for example, like Adobe Creative Cloud with Photoshop, which is excellent applications work very well. But if you look on prices, it is too expensive. And worse of all, you actually don't own. If you stop paying, it's gone, disappear. So let me go over a few great free and it's free applications that you can do jobs as well as Photoshop. And in some cases, maybe better. So what I'm going to do, it's going over those sites and I'll give you a link where they're located so you can go and test for yourself as well. In a future video, I'm going to review top three of those applications and you will select what applications you want me to review in details and compare them with Adobe Photoshop. So let's go ahead and start, of course, from the king of the free applications, it's called GIMP. GIMP is one of the oldest applications that almost mimic Photoshop, I will say in some cases, with some exceptions. They don't have like 3D and other stuff that Photoshop have it. And by the way, Photoshop don't like it. They're removing theirs. So in this way, you don't have it embedded AI in the GIMP, but you can use it with implementing stable diffusion as a plugin inside the GIMP application. The GIMP is very stable and nice application which utilizing layers and other effect and it's available for the Linux, Mac and Windows. Again, links will be down below so you can go download it and install for yourself. And before I know, I mentioned Adobe as the expensive in some case solutions for the digital um, artist, but they do have it some free version and it's called Adobe Express free online. You can use it and it is very powerful solution. In fact, is actually highly recommended to use if you need upscale or do other things, because if you look online, a lot of, lot of services allowed you to take photo, cut, upscale, but they will charge and they're quite a bit expensive. You can do all of this for free with Adobe Express. And this is a free version. If you're paying and subscriber, then you have additional options like utilizing AI or other generative um, engines inside there. But if you don't use this and you want just a simple creating maybe thumbnail for YouTube or add um, shrink your <laughs> photo or some other things, it's a very powerful tool. And I think I have it actually review on this tool, but definitely will look a little bit more because this is almost tool if you don't have anything else this will a solution for many uh, digital artists and digital photographers as well another great editing and uh, for digital artists who like to paint on a screen with your vacuum or other pen it is Krita. Krita, i will say it's go on a leg with leg with a painter from Corel painter. So it's how they kind of, I think, focusing themselves on this. It's also completely free application. So you can download it and install on your machine. And it does when I was testing before have it few um, quirky <laughs> kind of how it's work about. But of course, it is still being developing and it is in active developing. So all applications that I'm showing you with maybe few honorary mentions, um, it's an active application, so it's mean people continuously developing them and it's very active community. Beside with those as a GIMP or um, Krita, you can find a lot of good video tutorials on a YouTube. And like I said before, we also will go to review some of them in depth later. Canva is another online tool. And you notice right here, we have it actually one that you install it, like for example, a GIMP or a creator you install on your machine. But if you don't have a powerful machine, utilizing those editors or digital painter online can be a lifesaver because you don't need to upgrade your machine and you can do almost on a go with this. So Canva is will provide for this. You have it different. It's not totally 
free, you have a different plan depending on what you utilize, but almost all functionality have it available for the free level for you. And if you're interested, you always can go to plan and a pricing. And right here, you can see you have it, the free version, pro team enterprise. So depend on your level. And if you need it, you can grow into your plan. If you if it's required, but the free is work just excellent and for many other um, needs. So another one is target table. This is more for um, kind of photo management. I won't say it's try to be not a Lightroom, like if you're familiar with Lightroom when you put it photos. I think it's more comparable to ACD. Um, if some of you are familiar with applications, actually, I'm still using kind of almost like a management tool for your photography or images. You can do some very primitive adjustment like removing, rescale, resizing everything to this. But again, it's a free, it's a very nice management tool and it's work quite a bit fast because it's have a very light um, backend on this. So it's meaning it can access videos, preview of, uh, photos very, very fast. So it's very nice, slim, very thin client type of application. And as we're speaking about the viewers, another one, X, um, XN View MP. This is another more as a viewer in some way. So it's help you. Again, I'm a little bit going away from type photo editors because they are provide some photo editing, but it is not as digital painting. It's more primitive, like resizing, rotating, um, some adjustment of brightness, contrast, in many cases, it's more, mostly what you needed as a digital photographer. And of course, if you need a little bit more in-depth work, then you need look on those like a GIMP applications or Adobe Express, something like a little bit more. And I actually think Adobe Express a um, little bit higher, but I don't think it's allowed you too much to touch like a GIMP or other or create. And if you, um, not necessarily work with digital photos, but you like to take a pen, digital pen and just sketch drawing this way. Then of course the sketchbook, it's a one for you because it's allowed you very easy to take and naturally drawing by using your Micron pen or utilizing your uh, pad, just normal. And this is very nice, um, very light, again, light client, which I like about those applications. Um, if you're going with a bigger applications like Photoshop, for example, or Painter, Corel Painter, they have a lot of code inside, so they feel bulky how they work. Sometimes they leave it delayed, take longer time to load them. Um, this one is smaller than narrow application for specific tasks, and because of that, they work very good and clean. And as I mentioned before, using like iPad or other things on a mobile devices, which kind of very handy when you're going around and have it many paid solution. But if you look specifically for this, then MediaBank Pro, it's one for you. Very nice applications work very good to draw on your iPad. So again, you can download it, playing around, see with the brush, everything. In some cases, it's maybe remind you Procreate if you ever use it, but Procreate, it is a um, nice application, but it's not totally free and you need to buy brushes if you want to use it. They do have a large collection of free brushes, but here is a con with this. And I think if you like Procreate, I kind of say you should give a try to this and see maybe you like it better. Well, and sometimes when you draw freehand, this is still be a raster type painting. So it's a painting with a, uh, pixels information directly. But if you require work with a, or need work with more vector graphic, like for example, um, Adobe Illustrator or other things, the smaller ones, it's an Inkscape. So it's more as a vector based applications that allow to very light and fast to create vector illustrations. And again, this is for free, you can download it and use. Another application for the painter, and you'll notice we're going to cover painting, photo editing, and also raster graphics. So you can see you have it almost three uh, main lines. You can have it one, it's where you already have it, some digital art as a digital photography, and you want to retouch, re edit. Another one, so you can create as beginning, for example, like Art Weaver 7 allowed you to take and use it 
brush, like painting with raster graphics, or like we said before, Inkscape, which allowed you to use the vector graphics and creating uh, more uh, streamlined, like Illustrator top um, art. And of course, the another one's kind of Paint 3D. It's a from Microsoft Paint tools. Um, it, this is actually one of the oldest tool Microsoft Paint. It was with Windows for long, long time, and they're still updating. It's actually still work very well. Of course, it's not on level of complexity like a GIMP or Photoshop or anything, but it's very nice tool and it's come for free, so you can always utilize and use this. Um, it does not have it that many options of the layering of the selections and no way it's come closer with AI, but kind of say, as a basic tool for the painting is it does a very decent job. Well, and next tools, what I want to mention here, it's more, we can say honorary <laughs> or whatever honor mentions them um, because they're actually good tools, but not necessarily free. And one of course is from Affinity. And right now as Affinity offer you six months free trial, which is I think one of the longest trial I saw. We can use it. Um, like a Photoshop, Illustrator, and a designer or publisher, if you work with this. So this has allowed you all this pack. You can download it and use it. Affinity Photo is very powerful applications and it's work on the level, non-destructive editing on the level of the, I will say Lightroom with some enhancement of the Photoshop. I love it. I have these applications. I used all of them and Besides six months trial, what I like about Affinity, you can purchase one time, they give you updates, and it's all, you don't need to pay it. So they in non-subscription. And I personally I really don't like subscription idea because you're actually paying money and you own nothing. You have rights to kind of use it. And you know, in this time when we have so many free solutions, I think it's, and it's very nice to have it, some developers and some company who do offer non-subscription options so you own outright and you can use this application at any time. Well, another I also mentioned, as I said before, Procreate. It is very solid application, very popular, and it's a for reason because they have it, one of the biggest collections of the brushes you can use it on iPad or other devices. It's a not very expensive it's 20 dollars you pay once in your own of this so you can transfer as you're going around so it's a relatively inexpensive um very well developed very actively developing with all uh, different options and updates and i think um i have this options i played with this and it's kind of very fun when you can do with zoom infinity almost zoom to do with this so it's very very interesting application to use Another one I like to use, it's called Escape Motions. It, Escape Motions is a company who produce a different, they have it, Rebel 7, which is one of the most realistic looking painting tool on iPad, you can use it. It's mean when you're drawing or painting, you can say what oil you're using or what watercolor and it's where it start dripping down. I mean, this is, you must to see this applications, how it's work. And they have it other ones, they have it, flame painter which i have a very cool video tutorials you can check where you can take actual photo and painting around this they also have the in sprint with a create a amazing graphics um kind of playing on like fractal mosaic type so it's very very interesting tool set they're not free again but if you buy it once you kind of own those versions updates you need paid for the update upgrades when they come one version up and again, this is not very cheap ones, but it is one of us say funnest one to have it and unique in some ways. Well, a couple other ones I want to mention. They um, they're okay. They're not bad, but I will say they kind of we'll see what the future will bring for this application. One IBS Paint, which is was for some time, but it's just a basic to create. Um, and of course, AI come more and more on the market creating art. Um, Adobe right now have it very heavily with new Firefly 3. Probably you can check this video about my review on new Firefly 3 from Adobe, how it's performed. 
and that is actually working very well with uh, um, photos. But what we have here, it's Artflow AI, which allowed you to create images, portraits, even videos, so you can do all the stuff. And some of them you can actually pre-train on your artwork. Like for example, in a mid journey, you can pre-train some on based on your work. You can also create different models, like for example, with um, with other multiple um, applications. And you can check also this video where I review all of those different AI services online. We can also train model based on your art and using in your work. So this is another approach to this as well. A couple other applications, I won't just mention them. They're not to do with DD, uh, 2D, they are 3D applications, but they're one of the best. And many times when you work with digital photography and you want to have it like compositing, create with this, or you want to create any additional environment because many times they kind of intersect 3D and 2D, this is uh, two places I want to mention. Of course, they're from Eon Software. They have it VU, Plant Factory, and Plant Factory Catalog. They're absolutely free, free forever for commercial use, which is actually very stunning if you understand how powerful it is, that software. I highly, highly recommend for you if you're even a little bit interested or maybe just want to check, download it till it's free, use it. I have over 2,000, literally I have over 2,000 videos how to use it, so you will find plenty of resources here on my channel. And go check them and download it. This is, you cannot miss that software, you must have this one. And of course, as we're speaking about 3D, you should be familiar with the Blender. Blender, it is a king of the 3D um, applications for free. Of course, if you have a Cinema 4D, 3D Max, or other ones, they're commercially, they clean, polish everything. But the Blender with the latest re uh, releases are uh, pushing them quite a bit hard out of the market because UI become much better to use. It is have it so many add-on and plugins they allowed you to do. They even have it now fully supported with a stable diffusion inside. So if you need to create your background or anything, you can create straightly out of the blender including text textures and other things so this is another great tool and uh, reasons why i put it those two kind of on 2d because both of them utilize also cell shading or special um non-photorealistic render which you can create truly two-dimensional image just give you an example if you look on the uh, latest uh, Simpsons or Futurama, which actually was done in 3D, but when they're rendering, they render as cell shading, so it's look 2D animations. Well, here's uh, applications that are kind of things, give you interesting option to look, a lot of free options, very solid options that if you don't want to utilize Adobe or pay monthly fee and you want to just uh, create as good uh, work with digital photos and other, other things. So just be sure to check those links there down below. Let me know if you have some resources that I miss here. Um, share with me in the comments. Let me know some great new options. And remember also mark those three applications that you want to compare side by side so we can do in our next features. Thank you for watching.